we're back in the car. Hey, welcome back to our Super Dragster of Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, more juicy content. It's there. <laughs> Thank Whoop. you for every on Patreon. Follow us, Twitter account, subscribe to the like button. Foreshadowing of the juiciness. Uh, and uh, today we were in the car because we just walked out. Not walked out. <laughs> yeah, I was going to clarify. <laughs> Clarifications. We just walked out. <laughs> we could not sit through it. Uh, we just finished OMG2 um, uh, with Akshay Kumar and our Dosti of Dosts, the actually founder of the word dose. That's true. The one who began that term for us, for those we've interviewed. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Pankaj called us our dose. Has he called you his dose? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> I will always cherish that moment. Me too. Uh, anyways, but yes, uh, we just walked out of, once again, finished, uh, OMG2 yeah. uh, with Akshay and Pankaj, the 2023 film, the special a sequel to uh, the first OMG, which we saw pretty early on. I want to say it was in the first year. I think so. Probably, right? Yeah. Was it our second Akshay film? May have been. It, I think it might have been our yeah. second Akshay film after yep. uh, Kasari. Kasari. Um, this is, uh, but it's obviously directed by... Uh, Amit Rao. Amit Rao, and yep. then composed... Or Rai. I think that's Rai. Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, sorry, the, the font was... Oh, it's not coming up because I don't have internet. Yeah, that's okay. Um, but yeah, you're basically your stars. Your Pankaj is is your main star, actually. Um, and I actually wouldn't clar clar. We'll get into it more. Clarify this is a full on sequel. I think it's actually more standalone. Um, yeah, without giving any spoilers away. Yeah, yeah. It, it, I don't it, think it is. I have. I'll have yeah. Anyways, about that but as well. uh, we will um, talk about everything but there'll be a, no, a little non-spoiler review for oh, those yes. who haven't seen it because it is a new film that's how we do it um and if you'd like to uh, uh if you want to go watch it please go watch it and then we will get into some spoils uh and but we will tell you before we do so yeah keep the ball rolling in the movie theaters in india because yeah. you guys had a record breaking weekend with this jailer and Gadar 2 was the biggest weekend. Godard to uh, has a big thing to do with that. Yeah, huge, huge. <laughs> that thing is. So it was an amazing weekend. Uh, <laughs> what year is it? Because uh, this whole she's saying is <laughs> all those stars are like those big stars. '90s stars, yeah, yeah. and they're like doing big box office. That's and, great. Uh, anyways, uh, Rick, your initial non-spoiler right now. Yeah, thoughts, initial uh, non-spoiler OMG thoughts. Two, please. I went in expecting what. I got from OMG, which it was going to be lighthearted fare with a message, and it was going to be entertaining. Mm -hmm. And I got that and a whole lot more. Um, there's a, the majority of what we'll talk about, we have to talk about in spoilers because yeah. so much of the film, and I think they did a really great job of keeping the gems hidden from us in the trailers mm. so that you get surprised if you're if you don't know anything about the film other than what you've seen in the trailer and the teaser then you're in a beautiful position to be uh, uh as as naive as and unaware as we were going in and be i think really pleasantly surprised at what i ultimately walked away from thankfully saying this is this was even better than i hoped and expected it would be i i really really like this movie a lot yeah i uh <laughs> parts of it that i just straight up love yeah i i really enjoyed it as well it's without giving it away because i don't want to say because it, it didn't in the trailer really give it away of like what it's right. actually about fully right. and we will get into that in spoils yeah i want the movie to tell you that but um i was struck while i was watching i was like <sighs> One, it happens so much in India. They talk about imp really important taboo subjects, right? Yeah. All the time. Like, it happens in a ton of films. It's like a staple of a, a certain actor, obviously. But it's like it's been around for a long time of, like, that's a family entertainer with a deep message about something that's not normally talked about, right? Right, right. That's a, basically a genre in India. Film. It really is. I can't remember the last time an American film... I mean, you have films that talk about things and, and, and deeper issues, but... Not in this way. Of no. That's for the whole family exactly. that will hopefully, and has in the past, like with Three Idiots and, and other things as well, um, with the Yushman's films, that hopefully 
they start up conversations about not only goings on in families, but also in society, in schools, in in the government. Um, I and I what I love that that that's a genre. It's incredible, and they're masterful. That was the main takeaway. Without giving you a spoiler, you've heard us use the word before. Did not expect this film to be as important as it is. Very. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that that whole obviously that's that's the reason to see the film. But the yeah. other reasons are uh, Pankaj. E- e- the dude can't give a bad performance no. ever. And I don't think it's actually possible. He's he, such a such a beautiful. We say it. The word I use for him all the time is a. You can you see the beautifulness of who he is in his portrayals and the honesty and the truth. <laughs> If, um, if if Robert Downey Jr. had a beautiful soul, not Robert, if Robert, if, uh, Robert De Niro had a beautiful soul. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure he does. But if he gave off that essence, which yeah. Ankaj does. That's why he's so perfect for a role like this. You know who he, rem- this is the kind of film Stop. along, this is the kind of role that many, many moons ago would have been given to Jimmy Stewart. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good. And, and he can, he can, he can do that. It's the same kind of endearing wholesome quality where you believe in him he has a vulnerability and uh he just he carries the film yeah and and akshay as well i think does a really good job he's not and i it's not a spoiler because it was in the the uh the trailer of who he's playing of course uh, we were told uh, i think he's playing he was playing shiva in this one Mm -hmm. right and and the other one he was playing I apologize for not knowing the names, but uh, uh, Vishnu. Uh, v- was it Vishnu? Yeah, it's one. Or, it was one or the other of of that, as as well as Mahadev, if that's pronounced gotcha. correctly. We are ignorant, obviously. Yeah, Sorry, guys. No, um, but just purely telling you what we know from our ignorance. I I one one hundred percent believed that he was this deity. Mm-hmm. Um, that that I think he he carried himself well. We've seen it like people di- playing different deities in in different films. Yeah, before. those of you who know. You'd be the better judge of that. Yes. Uh, as to whether or not he's he's accurately portraying what is written and known. I got some, a lot of the, I hoping a lot of the symbolism yeah. of like different and, things. And the that, humor actually on some of the things. Uh, not all of it, obviously. Yeah, for sure, sure, if you are one are an Indian or two are a Hindu, you're going to pick up a I l- did uh, way more. A beautiful stupid baby. This is in the trailer, so it's not a spoiler. Uh, a, a few stupid babies sent me messages that said one of the things that was really funny in the trailer you guys wouldn't have gotten was when Pankaj said to him that the, the, the Ganges flows one way and he looks at him and he goes, don't talk to me about the flow of the Ganges <laughs> because he actually controls the oh, flow. Oh, is that who it is? He controls the flow of the Ganges. I, I, remember, the, <laughs> I remember the joke in the film yes. but and I assumed it was something like that but I yes. didn't, obviously didn't know exactly what it was so I'm assuming there's a bunch of different humor like that that he says that we got some of it but I'm sure there's... Yeah, there's one I'll say for the spoilers that I think we both way really more enjoyed. Um, but yeah, overall for the non-spoilers, I, I enjoyed all the music. I thought, yep. um, but that's not really why you go either though for this. Um, it's the important messaging of this film, which yep. we're not going to give away. Yeah. Um, and just obviously, I think it's incredibly well done for a commercial film to have such an important, and we've said yeah. that so many times in Indian it films. over and over. And India is untouchable in that regard. We were introduced to it early on. When we saw Pink, we were, we were amazed in the first year at, oh my goodness, the subject matter is, is just, and it's often done in a courtroom setting. It's a great yeah. setting to cover these things because then you have the pros and the cons, the arguments for and against, and and it is. You met, you said it, that, that India cinema has a, its own genre of a family film that covers messages that are as important, like, for example, take something as important as the messaging in the TV series Delhi Crime, season one, mm, right? Yeah. And then somehow turn that into a family film. India does that all the time. Yeah, <laughs> uh, and it's really it's really great. Um, and just also it's just super interesting. I hope it, and I know it is going over well, obviously. Um, and hopefully people are taking their families to see these kind of films so they can start because that not it's not just India, obviously. Um, I can't say that. Uh, I'll talk about that in the spoilers. I was just about to get into something, um, but we'll get into that in spoils because I don't want to give away. No, if, let's you, go, let's, let's if you don't want to, yeah. yeah. So if you haven't watched it, please go watch it. It's yep. in theaters, obviously, and, and it's by the time you're seeing this, Happy Independence Day. Yes, uh, India, um, and go watch it with yeah, your go family. Watch it. 
Uh, I think it'll be a really enjoyable. Ex- there's so many films. We don't know about Godard 2 yet, but there's two at least you can go and have with yeah. the families. Here, you know, the, the, a couple of weeks ago, it was Oppenheimer and Barbie. Right now for us, it's go ahead and have a double feature and see OMG 2 and Jailer. Exactly. <laughs> uh, we almost did do a double feature. We almost feature did it yesterday. that way, yeah. Um, but yes, so uh, if you haven't watched it, please go watch it. Come back because we're going to get into some spoils. Yeah, here's the spoils uh, now. So you, if you haven't watched it, go watch it. Assuming all of you have seen it, and now we can talk about it yes. in full Monty. So obviously the subject matter being... Sex education, right out the gate. Sex, masturbation, masturbation, uh, and all this kind of, it kind of strikes me. I was like, oh, we're going into this. Right at the the it, minute we started, I feel like they didn't give it away in the trailer. Not in the least, and I love that they did that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I they, thought that was one of the strongest things about it. It's you come in thinking you're going to get something, especially in light of OMG, and this is the sequel, and you realize. Okay, is this just a start of something and it's going to evolve into something else? Or are we on the topic of the film? Mm-hmm. And it just says, here we are. Yes. I loved it. And it's such a, a difficult conversation, especially for in India. which uh, And they went over so much of it beautifully, obviously, because there's so many different... India, we, we have such education here, but there's not... There are people that hate that we have such a education. Yeah, in it's, schools. A, it's an it's an embattled topic, um, and it, it's it's unfortunate that it is. Yeah. But uh, in India, uh, where there's so many different sentiments, for lack of a better word, and different cultures, smaller towns, right, um, right, different, oh, a billion different religions, right. that have different views on 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 it, right. Uh, the fact that they took it uh, and and really played out the arguments for it. Um, in a commercial way. Right, and it even did a really good job. I thought, um, forgive me for not knowing your name right off the bat, but our actress who, who played the, who's, she's basically the, she's the antagonist. Oh, yeah. She didn't vilify the character. Which Yami. Is a, yeah, that's a credit to Yami Galtam. That's, that's a credit to the screenwriting, the directing, and to her portrayal of the character because it would have been really easy for that to have just been the enemy and this is the good guy. There were points where they made arguments where you really wondered, is he going to win the case? Because she just made a point that a lot of people agree with. Yeah. I, I, I thought it was really well done. Yeah, and it was also so interesting because I was like, I was nervous for a second because I was like, are we just going to go after the schools and not right. talk about the the, the people parents. that is actually r- responsible for because that's who you live with right right the, I, right, the, the parents. parents responsibility to raise your children yes right. the school should also educate as well because right. not all parents do it but um it should be complimentary yes yeah um i was like are we just gonna leave the parents off the hook or yeah. and they didn't yeah uh, which is good um because it's it is a taboo su- it's a taboo subject everywhere it is unfortunately it's so sad that it is and it, it's it's and everything, I loved how openly they were talking about, and I hope it made a lot of people feel really good, especially young people. I mean, my, my dad heart was all over this thing in regard to especially young men who feel shame about masturbating, mm-hmm. who feel shame about penis size, who uh, girls who are told that there's something shameful in your period. Yeah. That stuff breaks my heart to the point of tears. It just, it is so sad that these normal parts of our humanity have become shameful yeah. when they ought not. And the, the young man that played the son. He actually um, did a really good job. Man. What a great job and great casting because he not only was believable and carried a role that's not an easy role to carry at his age, yeah. but he had such an innocent persona and, and face that it just broke your heart all the more. And... Um, there were points also where our hero, you were you were disappointed in the way he was parenting his kid, yeah. but also realizing it's because of the way he was parented and he grew up as well. Yes. And and he, he to his credit is teachable. Yes, you know, uh, which is beautifully played once again by Pankaj. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the fact that they portrayed so many layers of like, because we've seen it a billion times of a parent in Indian cinema slapping their child, slapping sure. somebody else, but yeah, for something they ought not be slapped for. Yeah. Um, and we've seen films about you know oh. slapping, right? Uh, yeah, the, the, in general. The moment, the moment when his dad slaps him, and then he asks everybody else, "Do you want to slap me too? Mm-hmm. You want to slap me too?" And that I was heartbreaking. I thought that Akshay's performance in those moments uh when he was kind of uh, 
I, I don't know if he was saying scripture or if he was right. just saying um, um, just talking, right? Yeah. Uh, I thought he did a really good job. I thought he brought a lot of empathy to, to that. He sure did. That character. I thought he did a really good job. And I really appreciate the directness of the, the, the screenwriting. The just the directness, not pulling punches, not at all. Just straight up saying, the penis goes in the vagina, and then the sperm, and just the why. There's a moment in the courtroom where he's talking about that, and he has the chart down of the human body, saying why. Why have you know we've changed the names to pee pee and weenie and wee wee and why these are part of who we are, and everybody sitting in this room, you are a result. I've often said that. Uh, jokingly, especially with the kids when they were old enough to understand sex and point around to every single person, especially with a large crowd, and say, look, look, every single one of these people is an orgasm. Look at it. Every single one of them. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little penis fruit. Uh, um, and I also really loved, and you guys would know more of it than I would, um, the fact that we've said it actually many times. is like, so the country that has the, yeah, Kama, Sutra, the Kama Sutra and so many sculptures that I've seen displaying sexual acts yeah so many like different things the country of the kama sutra doesn't want to talk about sex thanks england yeah right uh, and they brought that up obviously in the film i also it's thought it true. was a beautiful moment about the sex worker I uh, did too. in it uh, i loved her taking the veil off her face at the end uh and her saying basically like she was like is do you he asked her do you ever have pleasure in it right and she's like no they come to me for this is my job i don't right this is not something that i'm doing for fun and then i was like so where are we going with this mm -hmm. uh pankaj and he's like do you want your son to be somebody who will be able to respect and pleasure a woman right or do you want him to be one of the people that comes to you right just for his pleasure exactly and i was like that's direct very that, direct <laughs> that the film as, is very direct as was by also being commercial. One sentence, I think, that was so revealing and very, very true. She not only talked about the men that come to her just for their own pleasures or to abuse the women, but the last thing she said was, and then there's the men who just come to cry. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know? Uh, the, the brokenness of human beings who have not had a healthy understanding of sexuality, and they really covered every topic. He covered the search that people did on a girl's name because she was raped. The the scene that could have gone wrong in a million ways with the little girl describing what her uncle did. Mm. That that could have been that could have been so misdone and I thought it was really really again what a strange wonderful thing to have a film of this caliber that feels like a family comedy. And cover it, these topics so well. It's happened so many times. It, so yeah. you, I mean like um What's his face has a whole, like a whole genre of it. Um, and the important thing of this is that it hopefully does bring about discussions. It hopefully does bring about some things that can change because I know that the things that they were talking about really are the way they are. And it's not just in India, it's around the world. And, and it does, it really does need to change. The, the shaming of human beings' sexuality when we are sexual beings is one of the really biggest catastrophes to happen in society when it should be something that's celebrated and understood and made healthy because not only would people be happier but society would be a better place you would have so many less problems if people had an understanding about sexuality that was healthy easily uh another thing i thought was weird not not a, a flaw in the film at all but the fact <laughs> that all these people one somebody filmed a child masturbating and then right. the, presumably the entire country was watching this child a yeah, child got a problem with the kid who went in the bathroom to do it in private if any of you <laughs> were found in the united states with that on your phone you'd be you'd going be to jail, jail for child, child pornography. pornography so maybe don't watch children masturbate <laughs> or, or film them masturbating <laughs> so that was like it's just like all these adults laughing and 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 it's not abnormal y'all it's very common, especially for guys, especially for teenage guys. I jokingly leaned over to Corbin and I said, oh, yeah. good grief, a teenager who took three Viagra? Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, it's not uncommon for them to, to, to want to masturbate multiple times a day and to do it in places where, number one, they have the urge that they can't overcome, but there's also a sense of danger that has an erotic high to it where you're in a bathroom and you could get caught. Yeah. 
you know, it's just, not like it's not like he was just he thought, wasn't doing it in assembly in front of everybody. I just thought it was so weird that all these people were watching adults it. Yes. that knew his mother, right, and sister in front right. of them were right. like, "Hey, look at your son masturbating!" <laughs> like, what are you doing? Exactly. That's a child. Exactly. You're going to jail. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what is? But I think that was that was. I know that was part of the yeah. Parts. That's yeah. part of the story. And that was of, part of the part. It's look at the pots calling the kettle black. But can you imagine? Like, if this film was made in the United States, oh yeah, and baby, like. Why is there a film about adults yeah. watching a child why mast? Has it, why hasn't anybody in the court mentioned the very fact? <laughs> yeah, it's just it was like such a weird thing. When any time that I saw somebody watching the video, I would love to know. I, I'd really love to know if there's anybody. And there's a lot of stupid babies. You've messaged me so many personal things before because I've had the honor from many of you. You you. you consider me very much like a, a, a dad in many respects because I am a dad. I'm I consider enough, you a bitch. I'm old enough to be <laughs> b most of your dads. Uh, that that I hope that this movie made you feel better if for some reason you feel a sense of shame in, in some way. And maybe even as a parent, maybe you have shamed a child or felt ashamed yourself. Uh, and it's not just kids. It, it, mm, it, that yeah. stat, he said in India, is the same in America, that 97% of men masturbate and 77% oh, yeah. of women masturbate. And that even happens for folks who are in happy, sexually healthy marriages. There's, there's, it's, it's, it's not abnormal. I hope it made you feel normal. I hope if you, for some reason, feel inferior or insecure about your penis size, that it made you feel a little more comfortable and a little better about yourself. Um, yeah. There was one sentence about a girl's period. Yeah. And, girls having sexual pleasure and the differences between that. Exactly. It's just such a, it's the, just, it needs to be talked about more and more. It's so wonderful. And it's, there's so many things people unfortunately feel shame for as kids and that, yeah. then they grow up and it's a uh, trauma that they, right. they have to deal with. And I, I only say that because obviously growing up uh, in, in a church setting, and this was nothing about my parents, but it was just a church setting and it's something that I noticed a lot that a lot of people in the church, right, would shame girls yep. for their bodies. So, like, this is something... They still do. This, yes. This is something that would happen. We would go, like, on summer vacation, like a summer beach blast or a church beach thing. It's Which is very common Very in common, right. I could go to the pool however I like. Right. Take off my shirt, yep. have swim trucks on. The girls, and this was in the early 2000s, I know what you're would have say. to wear a shirt. large T-shirts yep. if they would get in the pool. Yep. To protect the boys. Worship teams. Yes. Today, I know of a church oh my God. that has a dress code for the worship teams that is so prudish, it is so terrified that the girls are going to look beautiful on the platform that it is reprehensible. And it's not just done in one church. It's done all over the place because there is this stigmatizing and demonizing of human beings as, as actually sexual beings. And seeing you know they made that point about breastfeeding in the thing yeah it was a great point yeah he shows the picture of that and says so what what do you see here do you see a mother breast do you see a mother uh, it wasn't a picture he was pointing yeah at, he so said yeah. do you see a mother feeding a child or do you see a naked woman yeah uh and the, i say all that just because net then that grows those kids grow up and they now they hold on to that even though they're like i know yeah. that was wrong i still have these lingering things of i can't be proud of my body because exactly. i think my body is shameful how many, how many teenage girls feel like okay i guess my body it shouldn't be exposed because there's something wrong with it's it. only meant for a man's pleasure right. it's got to be covered up it, uh, or there's something wrong with me that men can't look at me and lose you know they lose control of themselves yeah it's absolutely ridiculous and and I, I heard somebody say recently on a reel and it's a great point when it comes to women in particular uh, um so this was obviously male centric per se because of the fact that it was the son who was caught masturbating and there were a couple of times it talked about female things but when it comes to women we talked obviously about the period and and sexual pleasure for a woman i was reminded of a reel i saw recently of a guy who said a simple fact and it's so true he said if a man was put in a room full of women he's going to feel pretty happy if a woman's put in a room full of men she's probably going to feel uncomfortable and that's very telling I would it would, it would be, it would, but it's true. And it, it's not just because of, there's a lot of reasons for that in the society. And I would love to see, the other thing I love about the film, this is my thought is, they have now reached a place with this franchise. They can just keep doing OMGs and cover new important topics that need to be addressed mm -hmm. and let Akshay be another avatar mm -hmm. who becomes the voice of reason and the moral conscience of the character that directs them of their own free will to make the right choice and everybody learns the truth about the subject. Yeah. I, 
it's magnificent. Yeah. It really is wonderful. Um, anyway, so well, my mics aren't. Yeah, the mics are, are going. Mics aren't spooched. working very well. Uh, and so we've had to cut us like two or three times. <laughs> um, so let us know what you thought about the film. Uh, if you liked it, if you didn't like it, what your, what your thoughts are down in the comments below. What should be our next Pankaj and Akshay films that we should watch? And, and were you were you masturbating while you watched this? I hope so. We do, really. But hopefully you saw my face. But in private, not out in public. Like, oh, I'm looking at Carbon. Oh, that's I'm juicy. At Rick. That's juicy content. <laughs> also, <laughs> unrelated to what I just said, happy Independence Day. <laughs>